everybody. You're all very, very welcome to Sligo Library broadcast. This is on behalf of Work Matters at Sligo Library. We're going to be talking today to Jean Gilligan from IT Sligo. And Jean is here to tell us all about Springboard Plus. Springboard Plus provides courses for those who want to reskill or upskill in areas that there is a proven demand for qualified employees. Jean, can you give us a brief overview of the what the Springboard Plus program is about? Hi Maeve, thank you very much for the inclusion of Springboard and IT Sligo as part of your series. Um, Springboard commenced back in 2011, so it's 10 years now delivering programmes to help people upskill. And its initial objective was aimed at helping people who were unemployed to return to the workforce. So they were all programmes designed to meet current skill needs, and that continues to be the case. So on an annual basis, I'm required to submit programmes to the HEA that meet current skills needs or skills shortages so we refer to the expert skills reports uh, and various other reports and we work closely with industry to identify where they see skills shortages when they're looking for employees and the type of programs that would help them to get those employees to get people upskilled to meet those requirements. So Springboard has diversified over the years as I said the objective at the, at the starting point was for unemployed people based on the fact that we had 15.4% unemployment in the country at the time. Um, that's changed over the years and again we see that increase due to COVID-19 now but with the changes Springboard has adapted so it now funds people that are employed as well as those that are unemployed um, and they are all in courses and areas where there's skill shortages so the fact that we submit programs on an annual basis means that we're only submitting programs that meet current needs um, and they're very relevant to what employers are looking for now uh, and we fund programs from level six right through to level nine so they are introductory courses for people maybe who've never been to third level right up to master's level. Okay, Jean, so you cater for, I suppose, a wide variety of industries and also employed and unemployed people wishing to upskill. One thing that I hear is very unique about Springboard Plus at IT Snigo is that all the approved programmes are delivered online. Can you tell us a bit about this and particularly for people who wouldn't be familiar with online learning, how it works? So IT Sligo deliver all of their Springboard programmes online and we've been delivering programmes online since 2002 and in total now we have over 5,000 students online with a large majority of those being Springboard courses um, and online is very useful for people who are working or who have other considerations, other maybe minding duties at home to facilitate them to be able to access courses at a time that suits themselves. So we use an online learning platform called Moodle and anybody that's familiar with any kind of social medium platform uh, will find it quite user friendly. Uh, so essentially, when a student becomes registered in IT Sligo, they have access to a specific Moodle page, which is their program page, and that will have their timetable on it, it'll have information about their lectures, it'll have uh, little forums where they can talk to each other, talk to their lectures, find out news and information, and then there's links to their specific uh, subject pages, which will have links to the library live lectures, to uh, the content of their course, to videos, to literature. Um, and so they click on that live lecture link when it's their class. The classes are delivered live, they're delivered in the evening time, but they're also recorded because we're very conscious that people maybe work shift hours. We have, as I said, a large uh, number of online students, but they're not all nationally based. We have international students as well. Uh, so the fact that we deliver our lectures live, but they're also recorded means that people can access them at any time that suits themselves. And people who are out of education for a long time find it really useful because they can actually listen to snippets. So if they decide they're only want to look at 15 minutes of the recording then they can do so they can get up they can leave it they can come back re-listen to that or listen to the full content or move on so it's very accessible it's very user friendly uh, and it helps people who have been out of education for a while because their full lecture is recorded and captured for them to listen to as many times as they want um, 
with the with COVID-19 we've adapted further because we now have some of our labs are delivered as videos and as recordings as well where people would have maybe had to access NIBRT a facility a training facility that we use based in Dublin we also had exam centres in Sligo Cork in Dublin uh, and now we're using a proctoring system where people can complete their exams online uh, and they don't have to access us so there are all adaptions we've had to make in the current climate but because we're delivering programs online for so long and um, we've kind of been reviewing those uh, situations in advance looking at remote proctoring beforehand we've had assessments online so we've been it's been quite easy for, for us to adapt to those so it sounds like a very flexible and learner friendly kind of experience for those who look to participate in springboard plus and i suppose too what you're saying is that you are experts at delivering online, whereas a lot of people are just learning how to do it now. I mean, I don't know how many Zoom calls and video calls I've had in the last year, whereas at IT Sligo, you're used to using all these routes for delivering education. So you have a really good standard of it. Can you tell us a little bit about the kind of qualifications that people would expect to gain if they did decide to apply for and get a place on a Springboard Plus approved course? Yeah, well, Springboard yeah. funds programmes from level six right through to level nine. So it's entry into college right up to master's level. They're all one year part time programmes um, with one exception. We do have one two year programme, which is an ITC, ICT skills conversion programme. That's the only exception to the Springboard rule of one year part time programmes. Uh, so level six is introductory level. Level seven is your ordinary degree. Level eight, your honours degree. Level nine, your master's. And this it's like a ladder so people can come in at level six uh, and complete a level seven course they can build on that they can do to gain an ordinary degree gain their honors degree um, they can upskill in a completely different area so they may already have an honors degree in in business and decide they want to move into a science industry or science role and they can start course at level six and get an introductory level into that um, so there are all levels catered for. Uh, there are full awards, certificate awards, um, right through. And we have three schools here in IT Sligo. We have uh, business engineering and science, and we have programs in all three schools funded by Springboard this year. Um, so we, we're quite adaptable to the different uh, requirements of industry, the different types of skills needs and the, the skills shortages to be able to deliver programs across the different schools. Okay, we're very much focusing with Work Matters on entrepreneurs at the moment. Could you tell us a bit about the types of courses? You mentioned you have three schools in IT Sligo. So within that, what types of courses, Jean, do you think are interest will be of interest to entrepreneurs? Well, based on the current climate, um, we've all had to change and diversify with COVID-19. Um, and we have seen that too with our programmes. And, and this year with our submissions to Springboard, we're asked to be very cognizant of that uh, and to consider programmes in relation to, to COVID-19 and the adaptions people have had to make. But for example, this year, starting in January, we had a level six search in social media marketing. Um, and that has a wide cohort of, of people on it from a range of different backgrounds and there are people who may have relied on in the past footfall or word of mouth with regard to their businesses and they've now had to change how they work and their ways of work to look at online uh, and adapt to meet the requirements and, and to use an online platform to market their company, their industry, or if they're selling a particular product. Um, so that's one area. We also um, have, as I mentioned, the ICT Skills Conversion Programme, which is a two year programme, and that's aimed only at people who are actually employed. And that is for someone who has a level eight qualification. It could be something like the financial sector, accountants, banking, architects, um, who see a need or a niche in a computing area and they want to get a computing qualification. And in two years, they can convert and have a full qualification at level eight in the computing area um, and that's used quite a bit by entrepreneurs who have an idea about something in the computing sector and they want to diversify from the qualification they previously held into that area. Um, there are a number of different programs specifically related to entrepreneurship uh, funded by Springboard and as I said the programs fun uh, funded change year on year uh, and we won't know until May what's going to be funded in September but there are a wide variety of programs to meet everybody 
family's needs, depending on whether they want to upskill themselves or upskill their employees. We may have small businesses um, who might find it difficult to financially support somebody to upskill and they can use Springboard to do that with programs at level six, uh, free for all participants, but, but level seven to nine, Springboard will fund 90% of the fees, which is a huge amount of fees uh, and very useful for companies, industry, uh, small companies that, that require help with regard to funding for their employees. Okay, it strikes me if someone takes up one of these courses, that it can be quite challenging from a financial or professional or a personal point of view in that they're studying, they're working and may have other duties. So can IT Sligo give some level of support to these Springboard Plus students or what kind of supports are available to them? Absolutely. So we would have the same supports available for our Springboard students as we have for our fee-paying online students as our, our full-time students. So we have careers office, we have maths tutorials, we have uh, writing um, supports available to them. So all of the supports that are available to all of our other students are available to the Springboard students as well. Um, with our online suite of programmes, we also have online student advisors uh, and they are uh, in that role specifically to help students with non-academic queries um, if they're having issues, if they're finding it difficult, if maybe even with accessing some of the recordings. They can help in a wide range of areas. And then we have course coordinators specific for each programme and they'll help students with the academic areas that they may be unsure of or maybe having difficulties too. So there's a huge range of supports available for students. Um, and there's no differentiation made on them depending on where they're, they're funded or how they're funded. Okay, thanks Jane. You've really given us an overview of a wide variety of types and levels of courses pitched at, I suppose, different skills, people from different sort of working backgrounds that are available through the Springboard Plus programme. You've given us a huge amount of information. I'm sure people are going to want to have a look at it in more detail. So can you tell us where somebody can contact you to find out more about the programme? So what I'd recommend first, Maeve, is that people would log on to the Springboard website, www.springboardcourses.ie, and create an account on that website. Uh, and they can set up notifications from there so that they become aware when Springboard launches. We're not due to launch until May this year, and we won't know until around that time what programs were funded for. So it's very difficult to give people um, specific information about courses when we're not just sure yet what's actually going to be funded. But it is a very popular initiative, a very popular scheme, and it's important that people would get their applications in as soon as possible. So therefore, I would recommend that they create an account and that they have access to those notifications so that they know as soon as those programs are launched. Now, my contact details are also on the Springboard website, and I can be contacted via email at gilligan.gene at itsligo.ie um, and I can give you that information to put up maybe on a slide on the end uh, and that's the best way to contact me at the minute um, or you can phone the college if you want and they can put you through to, to my extension but email is probably the best way to contact me as a lot of us are working remotely for the moment. Okay so clear message there to get on the website and get registered so that you are up to date with what is going to be on offer from May with Springboard Plus. And also all those details will be on the Work Matters section of the Sligo Library website. Any final messages you'd like to give to a potential student or somebody returning to college, Jean? Definitely uh, look at Springboard. It's a, it's a fantastic initiative. It has a huge range of programmes funded. Um, I know we deal specifically with the IT Sligo programmes, but if there isn't a programme that we would have to suit you, there's a huge range of programmes funded. And if you go onto the Springboard website, you can filter by a particular category to see if there's something that some other provider has that meets your needs. Um, and online learning has adapted. It may People may be a little bit worried about being remote and on their own, but it has changed. There are forums, people work in groups together. It's possible to interact with your lecturer during the class. You can ask a question Question. you can type in a question, you can press a button to put up your hand. And I think maybe people are becoming more familiar with technologies like Teams and Zoom through work and through the fact that we've had to change our ways of work. So they shouldn't be daunted by it. Um, 
it isn't something that's going to leave you in a room on your own. You will be able to work in groups. You will have cohorts and people that you can talk to and, and discuss different topics with. And you've got forums to do that. And your lecture is always very accessible. Um, so if you are at all thinking about upskilling, it's a really good initiative. Um, there's huge amount of funding available. As I said, 90% of fees are paid for people who are in employment from programs level seven to nine and level six are free for everybody. Um, and any, anybody who's unemployed or in receipt of a social welfare payment will be funded on the programs from level seven to nine as well. So it is a really good initiative. There's a range of programs there available for you um, and you really should go and have a look and see what you what if there's something of interest for you. Wonderful. Jean Gilligan, Springboard Plus Programme Coordinator at IT Sligo. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Maeve.